Manchester's mayor is proposing to restrict access to a city park that's been the site of dozens of spice overdoses. Bronstein Park is used by Central High School students, and with kids heading back to school on September 3rd, Mayor Ted Gatzis wants to make sure they're not exposed to the synthetic drug that's been causing major problems in the city. Ray Brewer joins us live at the park to tell us how city leaders plan to restrict the access. Aaron, as a way to keep those kids safe, the mayor wants to restrict the use of this park on school days to Manchester Central High School, ban others from being here. Now, some say it is a way to keep those students safe from spice, but others see it as a restriction on their personal freedom. Closing down a park is anathema to my personal sense of liberty for people in the city. Um, closing it down for those particular hours is just going to push those people to different parks in the city and is not a it's a short-term solution to a very long-term problem that we're having in Manchester. The long-term problem is spice or synthetic marijuana. Mayor Ted Gatzis says over 48 hours last week dozens of people overdosed on spice many of them in Bronstein Park. He proposed Thursday that only Manchester Central High School students, faculty, and parents should be able to use the park from 7 in the morning to 4 p.m. on school days. Everyone else would be arrested for trespassing. The proposal needs to be approved by Manchester Alderman before it can be enforced. Alderman Joe Kelly Lavasser thinks shutting the park down to the public is not a solution. Well, the police should be doing their job. They should be patrolling those parks, and they should be getting those people out of there if they're committing crimes. Otherwise, I think people should be able to enjoy the parks that are here in the city. However, Manchester School Superintendent Deborah Livingston supports restricting the park if it will keep the kids safe. The park is an extension of Central High. Our students use it uh, continually. And we believe that uh, student safety should never be left up to chance. The governor signed a state of emergency on spice, which bans the sale of the synthetic drug until September 4th. Now that's the day after the kids return to school. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.